All right, so I know that I say that this vlog comes out every day at 10 a.m. and it doesn't usually happen. Well, I keep adding more and more things to it, plus I'm in between clients and I'm trying to edit. So it is gonna come out every day, but it's gonna come out every day whenever I can get it out. So I apologize for that. Now let's get this vlog started. Effortlessly, time gets spent when I'm with you. Alright guys, so on today's vlog I had a little bit of a different inspiration. Earlier I cut Christina's hair, who's my fiance, and uh, I was really excited about the haircut that I did, um, so I wanted to show you guys that step by step. Now, Christina doesn't love to be on the camera, so uh, I went through and did it on a mannequin. Hopefully if you go to my Instagram, at Free Salon Education, you can see her haircut uh, after we finish the color and all of that. Brian's doing the color now. So um, I want to show you guys the cut. Here it is. So it's a really cool undercut. Now here's the deal with the undercut. We left the undercut a little bit longer. The reason for that is it pushes the rest of the haircut out. So Christina's got a lot of hair, but the problem is if you take an undercut and you do it too close to the skin, sometimes it doesn't allow there to be too much shape coming out of the haircut. Then we went through and we did a bunch of short layers that were cut blunt. So we used some razor cutting, we used some scissor cutting, uh, we used a lot of different combinations to create the texture that makes up this haircut so really excited for you guys to see it let's get to the step-by-step -step. let me know in the comments what you think thanks guys all right guys so we're gonna start off by sectioning the mannequin down center back um, so we'll do a center parting follow that through center back and then what I'm gonna do is take a point from the occipital bone so mid occipital bone uh, over to mid temple area so you will see it. I'll show you guys the side in a second and what we're doing is we're sectioning off for the undercut portion um, so the thing I like about an undercut is what it's gonna do is remove a lot of the underneath weight um, a lot of your guests that you have in the chair that have that kind of Christmas tree effect that happens with thicker hair uh, the undercut is great because it removes all that weight from the underneath and allows the top to become a, a separate haircut. Um, you'll never see the undercut unless they pull their hair up. Um, so it works out. It's very versatile and it's something that you can do on a lot of different guests. So we're going to start off vertical sections down the back. Um, this is a traveling guide, so we're bringing everything back to the previous section. And I'm just working vertically, following the head shape with my cutting. So um, I'm building a slight graduation towards the top because of the head shape, but then it moves into pretty much 90 degrees, following the head shape all the way down, and just working my way around the head. So we're really creating more of a even um, or open shape to the haircut. So this hair could flow easily off of the head shape or around the head shape to open up the face in the back. So just combing everything straight out, working that scissor. This is where you'll see me um, shifting that scissor, uh, putting my thumb in the opposite direction of the scissor just to allow myself more comfort when I'm cutting. Okay, and as, so now that you're seeing the side of the undercut and you've really seen how the shape is unfolding, I wanna break down a, a couple different types of undercuts. So this undercut in particular, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm creating a graduation with it towards the top part where we sectioned off the hair. The reason I'm building that graduation is that's gonna allow for the hair that sits on top that's disconnected to be pushed a little bit away from the head, which I like. Um, sometimes that effect works really well for me now if I wanted the hair to sit closer to the head I would obviously do more of a layering technique and not so much of a graduation you notice in the back I don't graduate the hair as much as I graduate the hair on the sides that's because the the density in the back of the head is already thick enough um, so I didn't want to build up too much weight in the back but on the sides the density is a lot less so I build up a little extra weight this is just a personal preference of mine, but you could definitely go through, cut this undercut as short as you wanted to, and um, and really build whatever type of, if you want to graduate it, you want to layer it, whatever you want to do, you could do it. Um, there's a lot of freedom involved in that. So working that last little bit, um, I like that this is basically two haircuts in one. I'm going to do a little bit of cross-checking. So I'm working diagonal back through the haircut and just checking um, 
checking my shape, make sure that it's it looks good and it's right. So now I comb down the, the top of the hair and now I'm gonna work with my razor. What I wanna do is just um, do some quick strokes with the razor, build in my baseline of the haircut. So I'm just working through, keeping everything even in the back. So just drawing a, a straight horizontal line, connecting the front, drawing a straight horizontal line. The reason I'm using a razor is because it gives me a little bit more of a jagged edge, uh, which I like in this haircut as well. If you want to um, use your scissor to create a blunt edge, you can do the same thing. So slight over direction back that pushes a little weight behind the ear. And then I continue from that weight line um, across to the front of the hair. And there we go. So this is what I want to I want to point out. This little piece of hair has been driving me crazy while I'm editing this, but there's nothing I can do about it because I already cut it. But uh, I did cut that off later. So now I'm going through Bricado Active. I'm going to blow dry the haircut and uh, smooth it out. So then I can do the rest of the haircut because we're going to create a lot of layering in the top of this, but I want to do all of that dry. So we're going to quickly blow it dry uh, using our Ergo paddle brush, the Ergo blow dryer. Then I go through with my Vibra Straight iron. This is the thicker 1.75 inch iron, so I can pass through a lot more hair at once. And you can see, you could leave this haircut just like it is right there if you like the more one length blunt edge, which looks great. But now I want to go through and I want to create those layers. So I'm going to elevate the hair straight up from the head and I do adjust the camera angle so you can see this a little better. Um, this is the part of making a vlog every day that sometimes you just don't get those angles exactly the way you wanted, but uh, the head sheet should help as well. There we go. So we make the adjustment. Um, you can also see that I film these by myself. So uh, you gotta watch the camera and do the haircut at the same time. So everything is coming straight up. It's not being over directed. It's just being brought to the previous and I'm cutting short layers in the top. I wanted this to have kind of a textured choppy layered feel to the top part of the haircut. Christina really likes those layers because she does a lot of different types of styling in her haircuts. So she'll sometimes wear it wavy, sometimes she'll wear it straight. So I actually will show you both looks at the end of this as well. Uh, so this is creating concave layers. So we're connecting that top portion and I'm cutting blunt layers. This was something uh, that she specifically asked for because sometimes when you do too many blended layers, you don't see the, the detail work that goes into the haircut. Now I got my Type Z2 Dual Texture Scissors that we have on freesaloneducation.com. If you want to check those out, these are Mizutani scissors. Uh, I'm going to go in and I'm point cutting with those because I want to remove the weight from the disconnected fringe area. So I didn't want to create much of a bang, but I did want to have a nice soft feel to the front. So I'm removing a ton of weight throughout the haircut. And even in Christina's haircut, because she has a lot more hair than this mannequin, I went through and did a lot of this kind of point cutting throughout the baseline to break it up as well. But with this, I'm gonna take my Mizutani Puffin um, and just go through and do a little bit of slide cutting just to break up the bottom edge. And that's how we finish off that style. Now, a little bit of detail work in the bottom. I like, because you could see that bottom being exposed at one point, I like to detail it and just go through it. And like I said, this might not be your taste and that's totally fine. If you want to take that bottom shorter, you can. I like having the, the extra shape in the bottom and I'm having a lot of fun with that with Christina right now. I think it's easy to shave off hair, but to create a real structure underneath that holds that hair where you want it, you can see how it bevels nice under, but still kind of comes out away from her face so it's not flat. That's what I like about leaving that extra length for the um, undercut portion. So this is our straight look to the haircut. You can see how it has that kind of pieciness to the bottom. Now I'm gonna go through with a wand iron. I did a little bit of medium hold Bricado hairspray uh, just to uh, get, you know, get a little bit of product on the hair. And then I went through and just curled it with the wand. And then, um, really away from the face. So everything I was curling away from it, I wanted to create kind of a messy texture. So then I grab uh, the Carve product that I use on a lot of videos from Bricado. It's a cream wax. And I just put that through, it gives the ends a little bit extra hold, kind of thickens the hair up and then finishing it with a little bit of firm hairspray. I love the end result. And there you go, guys. Hope you like it too.
All right, guys, like always, these videos are free, so make sure you hit that like button, hit the share button, share this video with all of your friends. That's all I ask. Uh, it would mean a lot to me. So thank you guys so much for doing that, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks.